Hi. So this is one of the coolest things I've seen in a very long time. It's called a boom rig. Um, I've been doing sound, uh, I hate to admit, almost 30 years. Uh, but uh, this is boom rig, which is fantastic. Um, it comes in this you know, beautiful bag to begin with, which is slightly padded um, and has plenty of space, lots of little pockets. There's even room for your mixer, so long as you don't have something too massive, but the mixer fits in there nicely. And then this is the lifesaver. This thing will extend your career um, and just make every day a pleasure. So it comes in like this, then to open it up uh, from that packing system, uh, you twist the arm and the arm comes up over. This is your best friend, this arm. Now, you've got over here, one simple little clip, boom, you're open. And personally, I like to grab it here to put it on. I slip an arm through there, another arm through here, and clip, tighten it up a little bit because everything sits on your hips. And then there's a clip up here for the, the shoulder straps. It'll tug down here just to get it snug. Right now, it feels good. That feels right. Um, putting the mixer on, very easy. Slips over there, slips over there, and gravity holds her down. So that's that. Did I just scratch the mic? Okay, good. Um, Sound mixer sure always concerned about the mic. You know, <laughs> it happens. Um, second nature. So now I have this great little hook here, right? Um, when let's say I want to go to the go to the bathroom or go to uh, craft service, I have a nice little place down here that I can just leave it, so it stays down and out of the way when I'm walking around. If I need to bend over and pick something up, I'm not going to bonk anyone in the head. Um, and then when I'm ready to work, all I do is flip it up. You can have it in either orient, any orientation really. You can do it outward or inward. I like it outward so that I can just grab the, the boom and drop it in. Now I'm counterbalanced. You notice I only have one hand back here. Now with this one hand, I'm able to cue left and right and in and out completely while I'm mixing, while I'm coming in and adjusting names on tracks or whatever needs to be done very, very easily. And then let's say I'm you know, getting into boom shadows or I can't get past the cameraman and the producers in the way or something to that effect. Never happens, producers never get in the way. Um, but you know, I need to come from under. So to sneak under, I can simply come around the frame, drop down and Boom, I'm in, in from under. Or let's say we're doing man on the street kind of stuff. And I can adjust on the back the, the power, but just for demonstration's sake, I'm gonna just make it a little bit longer. I've got this cool little hook here. And so then I can just hook in, either have it up like so, and we're just interviewing people and this thing's doing the work more than me, right? If I need to break up, I can come up. And then let's say I need to, you know, go and literally run. A, it's got some bounce to it. So that's, that's actually not a bad way to go. Or if you feel like you've got more control, actually just pop out of it. And then when you get back into that spot where, you know, you've got to be the human C stand, boom, you're there. And then you can still go back and forth. Look at all that movement in there. That's pretty amazing. And I mean, I can do full figure eights and go around people. Also, what I love is when I used to rest this thing on my head, I used to get pain in my neck, all that sort of thing. But now, and I would also, if I went to look at my, my mixer, <clears throat> I would dip into the shot. My boom would literally go down. Well, now look at this. I look down, 
I'm keeping that frame line perfectly with no effort whatsoever. I'm able to go down in there, check that, you know, let's say, as often happens, my wife's texted me, God, what time are you gonna be home? Okay, um, you know, it could be anywhere from five to say 10 o'clock tonight, <laughs> because we never know. And uh, yeah, just the greatest invention. I wish I had had this 25 years ago or more. Um, you know, Verite documentaries will never have any idea how long we're gonna be going. And um, this is just a lifesaver. Amy, yeah. if the boom is very long, far away, out. Oh. I, I, I will show in my hand how yeah. to make more power. Turn, oh, sure, turn, sure. Turn around. So, so. he's powering me up. Uh, and this is an option. So let's see, you know, I'm extending the boom out, right? Which, just simple physics becomes, excuse the mess out here, by the way, this is um, not a real show place, but uh, more of a fun, comforting place. And now I'm holding that, you know, I'm just putting a little pressure down on the backside and, and I can come in and still like be able to, let's say I need to get around this thing. You know, there's something, somebody takes a shot over here and they need to come over here to take another shot. I've got, all that play, and right now I'm stuck in a spot where I can't move my feet as much, you know, so this is really working out well to be able to make that reach and have that power and not have the shake of the internal cable. You know that, that I don't know if you can hear that. I really have to make an effort on this thing to shake that cable, um, but after 20 minutes of, of a scene, I'm shaking that cable on my own. So that's, that's pretty great. And then, you know, I can come down in here, just let it sit. Oh yeah, it powered me up too much, <laughs> right? Um, oh, I can also go from here, uh, right under the, under the armpit. This is really convenient. Then, you know, still being able to pull it down and come from under quite easily. And that all happens. It's taken them six years to figure out how to do this um, silently. And that cueing, totally silent. That back and forth, totally silent. That up and down, totally silent. It's a um, uh, hydraulic system uh, that he's got going. Uh, that's built into the back here. Yeah. Oh, and this, see these rollers? Smooth as silk. And, and it's as articulated in such a way that I can, I can go far, you know, right, left, whatever I need to in order to make that happen. Uh, so, you know, I can go from one conversation over here to one over there if I need to. Right now I'm fighting the pool table light, but that's just... You know how that goes. Um, there's always obstacles to be concerned with, but I can go back and forth. Like if you look at the pool table light right now, so I'm needing to go from this guy over here to the one over here, and there's there's some some cables holding up the train set over the pool table light. Um, I'm able to avoid that and still get from this guy over here to this guy over here with no problem. Okay, so right now I'm in uh, what's known as low mode. So this is great if I have to get through doorways or whatever, or if I'm just more comfortable uh, having a shorter arm. But let's say I have to get over a big crowd, something like that. Then I can just pull down a little bit here. It has to be down a smidge. There's a switch here in the back. I flip that switch, and now it's gonna raise me up higher, five inches higher. And that makes a huge difference in terms of getting around people. So this way people can walk underneath my boom. I'm not knocking people in the head. Uh, I'm able to get through in a crowd, that sort of thing very easily. And sometimes you just need that when you're you know, out far on a long boom. And it's really pretty easy. This, I wouldn't be able to handle this very long. Um, 
I've got a friend with a, oh, and you can put a counterbalance weight on the, on the boom itself. Now that may be whoever your manufacturer is that makes your boom. Um, look for that. Uh, I don't know if uh, Easy Rig is going to come out with something for that or not. But um, yeah, just an amazing, amazing unit. And I don't know where this has been all my life. <laughs> Earlier, Johan was showing how you adjust the, the power. Well, you can adjust the power so that it's really holding it up like strongly. I personally like it just softly so that I, when I come down, this is effortless, absolutely effortless and fantastic. And um, now I want to be able to take it and go into the low mode. So I'm going to come down a little bit right in here. And then I'm going to reach this thing here um, because I'm going to be going through a doorway, right? So now I know I'm going to be backing into a doorway and, you know, it's documentary verite. You don't usually know what you're doing, but you see it coming. So I'm backing up with camera. Everybody's going through here. I can pop out of this, break down my boom, and slip in and be able to, you know, let the, let the crew back in and then hit and then just easily pop right back into the rig. Uh, which is such a luxury because, you know, then, then your scene happens inside or whatever. Or, or I can also come through, you know, with the boom. We were just showing this at NAB. Now, when I'm on set, maybe I'll boom three hours, four hours a day, right? Which is a lot, uh, especially, you know, compared to like what a commercial boom op would do. Um, uh, cause they're always working on other things, not that they're not doing anything, but you know, there's just so much time that you're actually rolling. And, but with reality, you just keep on rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling. And this is a lifesaver, especially in those situations. Uh, but so for example, uh, this week we were showing at NAB, I was wearing this outfit. I mean, this, this boom rig, um, uh, this boom, another boom, switching off and on, but I was about eight or nine hours in the rig with a boom, booming, literally booming, every day, uh, 13,000 plus steps a day, and I was coming back to the hotel room totally fine. Okay, so, let's say I'm keying from, you know, this guy over here to that one, I can. I've got these subtle movements without it's even moving my feet. Yeah. So the rollers for side to side, and then there's also a hinge on this back here, which allows you to go back and forth, right? But then let's say you know the wind kicks up, and I need to go from above to below easily. This thing's hinged uh, with a. Uh, uh, there's like a piston in here, and it goes down. And around dead silently. And you're still supported here. And That's awesome. So I was working with one of the prototypes on, on um, Skinwalker Ranch, and um, I wound up making a little thing here so I can just set up. And, you know, they were doing scenes on Beyond Skinwalker where they're sitting around and talking hours. And I could just. Sort of set it and forget it. That's awesome, thank you. Yeah.